Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today I was going to go over six essential ideas for the ASVAB math portion. So these are a list of my ideas, and then I'm going to have 10 practice problems for the math portion of the ASVAB test. Um, the way to watch a video like this is make sure you have paper and pencil in front of you. Um, when you see the problem, try and do the problem with the video pause. And after you're done doing it, then hit play, and then you can watch uh, my solution of it. So this is a quick refresher course of six big ideas on any standardized math test, but specifically for the ASVAB. And then I have 10 kind of sample problems that you might see on the ASVAB in the math portion. <laughs> Okay, I was just going to go over some of the math style problems on the ASVAB um, military placement exam. Some students asked me to help them with the ASVAB math portion. This is, I think, part of the arithmetic um, math part of the test. And then here are just six big ideas in math that you kind of need to know. The first is order of operations, and the mnemonic device for this is PEMDAS. And that helps you remember which operations to do first. PEMDAS stands for parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And these two are together. And all the multiplication and division happens before addition and subtraction. But here, multiplication doesn't go before division. You just work left to right on all of these factors. Absolute value, that's a magnitude of a number represented with two straight bars. So it's really how far away you are from zero on the origin. So the absolute value of seven is still just seven. And the absolute value of negative seven is also seven. So it just makes whatever you have positive. Factorials, a factorial is a product of an integer and all the integers below it. A factorial is represented with an exclamation point. So this right here, three factorial, that doesn't mean three with emphasis. It means three factorial, which is three times two times one. So three factorial is equal to six. Or if you add five factorial, that would be equal to five times four, 20, times three, 60, times two, 120, times one, one. What did I say? 120, so that's what a factorial is. And another thing to remember about a factorial as well is that zero factorial is equal to one. Next uh, big idea is exponents. And an exponent is a number multiplied by itself. So if I have three squared, that means three times three or nine. If I have three to the third, the exponents of three as well, that means three times three, nine, times three, 27. So three to the third or three cubed is 27. Just like on a factorial, zero factorial equals one. Any exponent to the, I'm sorry, any base number to the power of zero is also one. So 27 to the power of zero equals one. Um, so anything zero power equals one. 4 squared would be 4 times 4 is 16. And then one rule of exponents, if the bases are the same and the exponents can be added. So right here, if I have 6 to the 3rd times 6 to the 4th, that's equal to 6 to the 3 plus 4 or 6 to the 7th. But the bases have to be the same when you add exponents there. There are a lot of rules of exponents, but I'll just use that one here. The, the fifth idea is a square root. A square root is an inverse of a square. So if the 3 squared is 3 times 3, 9, the square root of 9 is saying what times itself equals 9. So the square root of 9 is actually plus or minus 3. Because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, or positive 3 times positive 3 is 9. So the square root of 25, what times itself equals 25? Um, oops, square root of 64, what times itself equals 64, so that'd be equal to 8. 
If it didn't work out to be an integer, you could approximate it. Like if you had the square root of 50, you know 7 times 7 is 49. So it's going to be just a little bit more than 7. So we'll just approximate it at 7.1. The last idea here is a cube root. A cube root is saying what times itself times itself equals 125. So you put the 3 there, and this is a cube root. So I'm looking at the factors at 125, and I see that 5 times 5, 25 times 5 is 125. So the cube root of 125 is equal to 5. The cube root of 8 would be what times itself times itself equals a 2. So that would be 2 times 2 times 2, or the cube root of 8 is 2. So those are six ideas for the math portion of the ASVAB. I have 10 problems right here. I'll go over these ideas. And the first thing you're kind of looking at is, you know, what are you getting tested on? So I look at this first problem here, and I see that it's really all about order of operations. I know I'm going to do parentheses first, and then exponents, there aren't any of the, those, and then so on. So the way I do this is I do my exponents first, so I have 4 plus 8 plus the quantity 7. Now I go from left to right, 4 plus 8, 12, plus 7, 19, and that's my answer. This problem is an absolute value problem, I'm sorry, this problem is a factorial problem. So 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then I work left to right. 12 times 2 times 1 is 24. So 4 factorial is 24. This one is both absolute value and order of operations. I would do the multiplication first. 4 times 3 is 12. Don't forget those absolute values. Minus 20. Right, so I multiply before I subtract. 12 minus 20 is negative 8. And then the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. So that's my answer there. Number 4, order of operations again. I do parentheses first, PEMDAS. Parentheses first, then the exponents then multiplication, division, and then addition, subtraction from left to right. So this is first, so I'm going to do 12 divided by 3 times 8 minus 3 plus 2 is 5 squared is 25. So 3 plus 2 gives me 5, then I square it. I do it inside the parentheses, then I square it. Now I'm going to go left to right with multiplication and division. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 8 minus 25. I'm going to do my multiplication before the subtraction. 32 minus 25. Then I'm going to do the addition subtraction from left to right. 32 minus 25 is 7. Number 5 here is uh, doing exponents. So this is a test question on the exponents. 2 squared is 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 plus 9 is 13, and that's my answer there. Alright, let's just do another 5 problems here. Still exponents, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27, so I have 9 times 27. Or the other way, and I could do that, uh, I could do 180 plus 63, 243 is one way to do it. Or I could see up here, the bases are the same, the exponents are different. So I'm going to keep the same base and add that exponent and that to get 3 to the 5th. And then 3 to the 5th, I actually can't amount on my fingers, it's 3, 9, 27, 81, 243. So it's the same value. Number seven here is a square root problem. So that's the fifth idea here. A square root again is saying what times itself equals 81. So you need to know your multiplication tables. So nine times nine is 81. So a square root of 81 is nine. 
This is a cube root, just like this is a cube here. This is a cube. This is a cube root. So what, what times itself times itself equals 64. So four times four will give me a 16. Times four, 16 times four is 64. So I have four times four times four is 64. So the cube root of 64 is just four. Number nine here is putting together both order of operations and absolute value. So I'm gonna do my parentheses first. So I have 24 minus 13. You got kids working in the wood shop, that's that sound. Eight divided by four is two times two. I'm going left to right. I'm gonna do my multiplications first. Next to each other just means multiplication. So 24 minus 26 times two, still absolute value. I'm not gonna do 24 minus 26 because I do my multiplications before my addition subtractions. So that's gonna give me 24 minus 26 times two, 52, and the absolute value of that. 24 minus 52 is negative 28. So I have the absolute value of negative 28, which is equal to just 28. So that's my answer there. So that's order of operations, and when I'm all done, then I do the absolute value and make it positive. Lastly, um, a, a square root. So there's no number written there, so it's a two for square, and a cube root. So this is saying what times itself equals 16? That would be four. And then this here is saying what times itself times itself equals eight? That would be two. So eight, four minus two is two, and that's my answer. So again, that's a cube root saying two times two times two. What times itself times itself gives me eight. All right, well, hopefully it's a little bit of a refresher on basic math skills for the ASVAB test. Um, the way I would have taken this test is, you know, watch the video, have a piece of paper in front of you, do the problem, pause the video, and then work out the solution, and then check your solution to mine. So I hope you, hopefully that helped you a little bit, a little value added to your ASVAB test taking. Um, if you like the video, hit like. This is Colfax Math, and subscribe if you want to see more videos on math and the application of math. Thank you for watching.